welcome to today's english class everything i need to know i learn in the forest is the lesson that we are learning today written by vandana shiva now about the writer vandana shiva is an internationally renowned activist for biodiversity and against corporate globalization in this essay everything i need to know i learned in the forest she reveals to the reader all about her early lessons of environmentalism she further tells us how she learned all the major ideals of a good life from the forest such as diversity freedom and coexistence now in order to learn this chapter well we should know properly about chipko movement that is chipko andolan now this chipko andolan that means save trees this andolan was that means started that means through the act of hugging the trees when people come to cut the trees the villagers either women village women and other people used to go and hug the trees and they were not allowing the people to cut the trees this is the chipko movement started by sundarlal bahuguna january 9th 1927 he started this movement chipko movement and this chipko movement it had its own uh, slogan what is it was ecology is permanent economy ecology is the permanent economy if at all our nation's economy has to improve or the economy of the world has to improve ecology is important that means ecological balance has to be there and today we may know far better 1927 sundarlal bahuguna thought about that but today we are facing real problems lot of forests are destroyed some type of animals are extinct that means they are not found at all some of, some kind of animals and birds are not at all found today vanished can we produce such peep, such uh, animals or birds or any creatures once again not possible that is the sad part and today that movement what he told and what it uh, went forward really we are facing it and we are uh, really very sad about this incident that we cannot find certain birds certain animals certain creatures in our around us and so many women also have joined this movement like uh, gaurav devi 26th march 1974 she joined this uh, chipko movement and she too has contributed a lot for this cause of protecting the environment and protecting the trees and because now today we are need not worry because of all these from 1927 whatever sundarlal bahuguna fought for till 1980 suddenly in 1980 government issued a ban on felling trees in the himalayan region and this is applied to whole india today so the writer vandana shiva she today tells us how ecological balance is important to all of us now this chikko movement it was a non violent response to the large scale deforestation it was not a violent movement it was non violent movement uh, and the, it was against the deforestation in the large scale 
in the Himalayan region is started in the 1970s. Peasant women, that means farmers, those who are working in the farm, peasant women in the Garhwal, Himalaya had come out in defense of the forest. And Vandana Shiva noticed a steady loss of forest in this all region of Himalayan mountain ranges and other places. And she decided to become a volunteer for that movement. Now, she, in the Chipkov movement, what is the exact thing they are propagating? Biodiversity. That means the biodiversity and Navadanya farm and Navadanya movement. This is what they are put forward. Uh, they are putting forward. Chipko movement taught Vandana Shiva about biodiversity. Now, for example, what is biodiversity? In the particular region, particular plants live there and particular kinds of animals live there. The same animals are not living in another place or another region. Why? Because they are accustomed to the environment which is there, which is created. And Chipko movement taught this to this our writer Vandana Shiva about biodiversity. She realized the importance of biodiversity based on living economies. She started Navadanya, the movement for biodiversity conservation and organic farm in 1987. Vandana Shiva has worked with farmers to set up more than 100 community seed banks across India. That means she has worked with the farmers, of the local farmers, she worked with them to set up more than 100 community seed bank banks across India. What is this? We have heard of banks like a syndicate bank, SBI bank, where money is owed. But this is about seed bank, community seed banks. She started this across India. And they have saved more than 3,000 varieties. That means a great, great work, noble work. 3,000 varieties they have saved. And this is a transition from monocultures to biodiverse ecological system. It's entirely different. Okay? And to demonstrate her experimentation, she started Navadhanya farm in 1994. In the year 1994, she, in order to demonstrate the experimentation, now something should be done. And she started the Navadhanya farm and in the Dune Valley, in the lower elevation of Himalayan region, in the Dune Valley, she started this. Uh, this region is in Uttarakhand province and they are now able to conserve and grow 630 varieties of rice. Can you imagine? We know only to eat rice, isn't it? 630 varieties of rice and 150 varieties of wheat. I don't know. Even I am bad in this because Usually we don't, I don't, uh, we, we, of course we use atta, isn't it? Wheat atta we use for making chapatis and other things and we eat, uh, some name is given ashirvad or something, immediately the chapatis are prepared and we eat, but we have not gone to see. But I tell you, these people, they have done a noble work. See, they are able to, they were able to conserve and grow 630 varieties of rice. Though we are very growing rice, we don't know so many varieties. And 150 varieties of wheat and hundreds of other species. Not only this, hundreds of other species. Thus they practice and promote a biodiversity, intensive form of farming. That means intensive form of farming that produces more food and better nutrition per acre. That means Whatever we grow in an acre of land, 
they wanted to bring out the best crop with the best nutrition and they could do this and for this movement vandana shiva has contributed a lot and uh, this in this informative essay vandana shiva of course she learnt i said about environmentalism and uh, of course she has done and contributed a lot that means all the hima she the himalayan ecology system and the forests she studied well and with the she came to know, understand about chipko movement and why these people or why these villagers were hugging the trees in order to protect uh, the forest she understood at the time the importance of it and uh, the outcome was excellent and uh, my dear all the students in your uh, puc textbook it is clearly mentioned about diversity of life forms and the need to accept diversity as the principle of life that means the principle of life what is the principle of life that is mentioned here in this lesson and also earth is our mother and not just raw material earth is not just raw material for raw material we have to search here and there and collect not like that it is our mother uh, and to, it is not to be exploited we need to live in harmony with the nature that is what she has uh, uh, started and vandana shiva uh, decided to when she decided to join this uh, movement chipko movement and uh, went to a uh, padayatra documenting uh, the deforestation and the work of the forest activities and created awareness about chipko movement bachni devi a village woman a village woman uh, who was there led resistance against her own husband who had obtained a contract to cut trees that means he had uh, got a contract large contract to cut down trees and but his own wife bakni devi she she was a villager woman and she resisted her own husband and the women told the officials that they had come to teach them forestry no those people who came there for them they said we are, they are going to teach them what is forestry and from chipko she learnt about biodiversity and she described the importance of biodiversity diversity in her book monoculture of the mind her book is named as monoculture of the mind and she started saving seeds she started saving different seeds and all and started navadanya farm in 1994 i have already told in the dune valley they conserve and grow 630 varieties of rice and 150 varieties of wheat and uh, like that they continued and uh, totally they solved the problem of nutrition crisis they solved the problem of nutrition crisis in their life and when she started that uh, she started the seed banks across india and instructed and pleaded the farmers to make transition from fossil fuel and chemical based monocultures to biodiverse ecological system nourished by the sun and the soil that means we are getting enough uh, sunlight enough uh, we have good soil with us so making use of that how we can get the best crops best varieties of crops so that is what uh, she brought out and the united nations general assembly organized a conference on harmony with nature the united nations uh, general assembly organized a conference on harmony with nature as part of earth day celebration it is significant to note that ecuador has recognized the rights of nature in its constitution the discussion was about the ways to transform systems 
based on domination of people over nature men over women and rich over poor into new systems based on partnership it is no question that man is greater woman is that means she is not as great as a man it is not like that together the togetherness equality it uh, proposed equality the importance of reconnecting with nature is stress all human beings are an inseparable part that means nature and human beings cannot be separated they are one if they are one if they are part that means the nature and man becomes one at the time if we go if we do any harm to nature it is harming ourselves that means harming ourselves and today we are in a particular stage see corona virus which was there already but today covid 19 it has taken a special shape and it is troubling now whole world and you know thousands and thousands of people are dying isn't it so now cormac kalinan says that we need to overcome the wider and deeper apathy and eco apathy based on the illusion of separatedness of humans from nature in our minds and lives so this is the statement given given by him and tagore of course rabindranath tagore he started shanti niketan where children were taken to the nature so tagore in his essay tapovan speaks of the forest as the source of regeneration and the source of india's best ideas the peace of the forest has helped that means peacefulness that is in the forest okay the peace of the forest has helped the intellectual evolution of man he speaks of unity in diversity today we are uh, uh, so many people are giving these statements right unity in diversity so uh, tagore spoke about this and he speaks of unity in diversity and the forest as a source of knowledge and freedom the forest teaches us union and compassion now um, tagore in his shanti niketan he taught the children how to be one with the nature and those children who studied in shanti niketan even today they have made great impact on the people we have to enjoy the gifts of nature without exploitation and accumulation we should not accumulate wealth and all things and everything how much we need we should have we should not have we our need is okay we should not have a greed we should find enjoyment through renunciation and certainly not through greed of possession that means possessing amassing as much as possible if at all we want the joy of living we need to put an end to consumerism and accumulation consumerism and accumulation are these are the two things very dangerous to us thus vandana shiva says that the forest teaches the values of diversity the forest teaches the values of freedom and the forest teaches the values of coexistence that means we exist in hand in hand with animals and ecological system and at that time we can live happily otherwise even human race may extinct one day because we we are go if we go to against the nature nature will react on its own today we see lot of places with volcanoes we see floods every time floods because of floods so many people lose their houses lose their lives land sliding mass land slidings what is the reason because we are with not with the nature why the pandemic this is because of natural disaster we call them as natural disasters this this all things 
are occurring because we are not adjusting with the nature and we are for our selfish needs for our our selfishness has gone to the height that we are going against the ecological system and we are going against the nature and when we go against the nature nature reacts and we cannot withstand against the nature so my dear students let us be one with the nature let us respect our nature let us protect our nature let us plant more and more plants of varieties so that we create heaven around us so thanks to vandana shiva you have this lesson in the second pc read the chapter again and again understand the question properly and write answer to the point thank you